Hare Krishna. Whenever we try to give up some unhealthy habit and cultivate a state of sobriety, uh, for at least from that habit, we tend to relapse. And at such times we may beat ourselves down. What a fool I am when we succumb again. How could I have been so stupid? Why did I do that? Why didn't I remember that this gets me into trouble? So we may condemn ourselves for being witless and our stupidity. Or sometimes it may be that we condemn ourselves for being willless. Because I have no willpower. I'm just in, like an animal. I, I can never do this. But both these, while they could be possibly true, they need not necessarily be true. It could be that we are not witless or willless, we are simply weaponless. Suppose an enemy attacks a soldier. Now if that enemy attacks the soldier at a time when the soldier is unarmed and the enemy is heavily armed, the enemy has a machine gun and the soldier has nothing, then even if, no matter how sharp the soldier is, no matter how determined the soldier is, the soldier will be slaughtered. So, uh, if we are weaponless, then we become helpless. And similarly, in our, uh, when we are trying to give up temptations, give up bad habits, at that time we are fighting an inner war. And wit and will alone is not enough, we need weapons. The Bhagavad Gita categorically underscores the inadequacy of wit and will alone when it states in 2.60 that Yatato yapi kaunte ya purushasya vipashyataha indriyani pramathini haranti prasabhammanaha that yatato ya that even if one endeavors determinedly yapi kaunte ya purushasya vipashyataha so yatato indicates that the will is there and vipashyataha the person is discerning that means the wit also the intelligence also there but still Indriyani Pramathini, but the senses are so wild. Haranti Prasabhammana, they drag the senses away. So, what do we do? We need to move forward in our journey toward uh, self purification, towards reinstatement by getting the right weapons. See, every temptation actually attacks us by promising a certain pleasure and we are innately pleasure seeking creatures. So we need to have something which gives us better pleasure or at least some purpose which gives us, even if it doesn't give pleasure immediately, it at least gives us a meaning that is a deeper sense of uh, fulfillment or at least to value and that enables us to resist that pleasure. So if somebody if somebody doesn't have weapons then they can't fight. So for us the weapon is a higher purpose which will bring a higher pleasure and that's what the Bhagavad Gita tells in the next verse when it states in 261 that when we use whatever self-control we have, but then the important thing is we focus our consciousness on Krishna in a mood of loving service and we remember Him. That, that purpose of serving Him, that connection of remembering Him, that gives us a higher fulfillment and that helps us uh, resist temptation. So absorption and transcendence is the ultimate insurance from relapse and rather than beating ourselves up for being witless or willless we can focus on equipping ourselves with weapons on creating more and more resources for ourselves on creating more and more habits for ourselves by which we can turn toward Krishna and remember him and then we will be able to resist and reject and transcend temptations thank you